What is up, my Broviaries? Welcome back to Playcrastination. Population 147 today. We are back with more Pokemon Volt White. Uh, if you watched the grinding slash exploration montage, if you will, uh, you'll notice I went back all the way to Route 1, the very start of the game, um, to basically go through all the regions again, and there's a couple reasons I did that. Um, one, uh, the thought hit me the other day, I was like, hey, we only have five Pokemon on the team. We really could use some more encounters. So first I went back to see if there's any areas that we maybe forgot or that we could now access with like strength and cut. No dice. Second thing I remembered was that, hey, all of the items in this game are randomized. And as we found earlier, you can sometimes randomize items into fossils. Uh, and because a fossil kind of counts as a static encounter, we can then restore those fossils. So I thought, you know what? We're going to walk around with the lovely little this thing the item finder and we're gonna go through the entire game again and see if there's any items slash fossils we missed and we missed not one but two fossils over the course of this entire thing one was in the desert one was in lost lorn forest like no it's not lost lorn forest pinwheel forest that's where it was um and they were both really really good so we're gonna go ahead and do a team recap i know we've been like doing a lot of those but the team has also been changing a lot because i lose about two pokemon an episode but anyway uh we still have kofagrigus uh named tut he is a ghost steel type i found out the reason the steel threw me off so much is that the added steel type is just one of the additions that this game made for kofagrigus so uh ghost steel type he is rock and hex will-o-wisp discharge and he learned shadow ball during the grinding montage still has the ability mummy I should also reiterate that I got everybody up to level 40, uh, besides the people who were already ahead, but I got everyone up to level 40 during the grinding montage. Uh, I saw a comment on my last video, maybe the video before that, um, yeah, it was the video before that, um, that just said, hey, it's Volt White, you're really gonna have to, like, not that I, part of it, I don't know, if, part of it's that I'm bad at, at, at at Pokemon. Part of it is that it's randomized, um, so we don't get to choose our team and make sure we have all the type advantages we could possibly want. Um, so his comment was basically, hey, this game is brutal. If you want the Nuzlocke to continue, especially from this point forward, because it only gets harder with the next two gyms, he tells me, um, you need to be over leveled. Uh, so 40, I figure, is the, the, the previous gym leader was about level 38, uh, 40 should get us to the next gym leader for sure, and hopefully no grinding montages along the way. Anyway, Tut the Kofagrigus, we have newly added, we got a Kadabra from one of our fossils, I believe it was a dome fossil, and we evolved him into uh, Handlebar, the Alakazam who currently knows Psycho Cut, which isn't great because the attack stat, I get that. Uh, Shockwave, Psybeam, and Recover. And he has the ability Synchronize, which passes a burn, poison, or paralysis to the foe. That could be good for any of these gyms that try to do some obnoxious stuff. Next, we have Pandemonia. The reason that we are still in this Nuzlocke, our shiny Darmanitan, uh, who is rocking Facade, Fire Punch, Hammer, Arm, and Flare Blitz has the Iron Fist ability, which increases the power of punching moves. Next, we have Underbite, uh, our Grand Bull with Rattled, which some move type scare and boost speed, okay. Uh, he has Bite Lick, Headbutt Crunch, hasn't learned, I think he learned 
could have learned takedown during the grinding montage, but I wasn't a huge fan of that, so I said Gah! to that. So, but he could really use some something new. Uh, we have our, our second Pokemon that we got during our grinding montage. That would be Jaws the Gabite. Hopefully we can praying praying. Hopefully we can keep him long enough to get a Garchomp, which is one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Uh, he currently knows Dig slash Dragon Claw and Dual Chop. He's real strong, and he has the ability Rough Skin, which of course inflicts damage to users that make contact with us. And finally, we have Bick, our Ink Shooting Octillery, even though I got rid of Octazooka, but he does know Aurora Beam, Bubble Beam, Cut, and Strength. In this game, Cut is a Grass type, which we already knew, but Strength is a Rock type, which is very cool. He has pretty much equal attack and special attack, so he has a wide variety uh, of moves, and it's nice because he has so much coverage. Um, and that's why I gave him the Expert Belt, because there's going to be a lot of times when we bring him in to do super effective damage with his varying moves. Uh, but anyway, he has the ability Moody, which raises one stat and lowers another. Anyway, today we are... What are we going to do today? What are we going to do today? That's a great question. I think we're going to start by heading towards the next city, which I believe is called Driftvale City. I cannot remember exactly. It sounds right. I, I could almost swear I heard an inkling of someone saying, hey, Driftvale City is ahead. You should probably go to it. Uh, and now that we've beat this gym leader, hello. There's performers. We've already been to Route 5. We know there's performers there. I guess there's going to be trainers ready to battle. When I mentioned trainers ready to battle, I was not talking about, oh, bro, stop, you've got the book badge, I've got the book badge, let's test you stronger, you and me, that this time going to win. One thing I really don't like about this game, at least from a Nuzlocke perspective, is not only do you have two rivals, which makes it hard enough, the game finds it necessary for them to challenge you after every 36 star after. The game finds it necessary to, to allow them to challenge you after every single gym battle. But I won't complain. Anyway, we do have our uh, our Tut in here, which is actually pretty good. Discharge is going to do pretty well against the Star Raptor. And we do have four levels on his team, so there should be nothing to worry about there. That did a lot of damage. What are you going to... You get the Paralysis 2. You're going to Whirlwind me away. He's scared, but he's paralyzed. So pretty much no matter what he does, we're probably going to take him out here. Alakazam, that is fine. Alakazam, hand a bar. I see, I'm surprised you chose that move. Why? Because the super effective damage? Or... We do know Shockwave, which means you are going to go down this Star Raptor. I'm hoping that with our overleveledness, not saying I want, I don't want this to become easy. Um, if we get to the point where I feel like we're too overleveled, I will absolutely stop with the overleveling. Um, and I will don't do grinding montages or anything like that. Gigalith. Gigalith. We actually do have someone to take care of that now. We have the lovely Bick. There's probably not much you can do to Bick. He's a pen. Do I have a Bick pen here? I feel like you should always own a Bick pen. This is an acro ball. It's a pilot pen. Is that Bick? Who knows? If you know the company's better than I do, perhaps it is. Uh, we will go ahead and use... Probably better to hit you on the special side. So we'll go ahead and bubble beam. Maybe... Mm, probably not take you out in one hit. You might have sturdy... He doesn't have Stardy, we didn't get him quite there anyway. You're gonna use Rock Slide. That's okay, we, it's, we're an octopus. We love rocks. Don't love them that much apparently, because that still did a lot even though you're four levels down. We lose attack, we gain special defense. That is perfectly fine. Use Bubble Beam, it will take this Gigalith out, which is good. As you can see, it is Volt White still, so just the fact that you're over leveled by four levels doesn't mean anything because a Rock Slide from a Gigalith still almost takes out Octillery. Uh, Moody is going to raise our special defense sharply <coughs> and lower our regular defense. I like that ability quite a bit. We have Gallade coming in, which is, um, um, it's bittersweet because we no longer have our starter, Graviary. Come back, died in the last episode. And I still haven't really gotten over it. However, this is not to like... This is not to trace. You're going to trace my Iron Fist? Oh, no. You probably do have punching moves. We need to get rid of you quickly. Fire Punch should do the trick. Fire Punch is going to do a ton of damage. ton of damage. You are level 38, just like that gym leader. 
not quite enough and you have a citrus berry as you always do because you are Sharon and what are you gonna use you're gonna use psycho cut against me I'm not part fighting am I I'm not part fighting that did a lot but it didn't do enough to take me out we're gonna fire punch and take out this Gallade as you can see it's already gonna be like I hope it's pretty obvious that this is not a good time no matter how over leveled we get we're three levels up on that thing semi poor I need to get out of here uh, we were several levels up on that thing, and it still hurt our butts pretty good. We're going to go and handle Bar. Who is he sending out? Simipore? Might know Crunch? Probably knows Crunch. Probably knows Bite or Crunch. Um, Shockwave will hopefully take you out in one hit. We have crazy special attack. Alex M, uh, our handle Bar, uh, obviously named after his majestic mustache. Mm, you're going to leer. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. This battle's not as scary as I thought it was going to be. Shockwave never misses. We know that we're faster. Alakazam, the perfect combination of speed and special attack. I do love Alakazam a lot. And that is probably going to take Handlebar to the next level, 41, which is perfect. The next gym is going to be... You have an Alakazam too, huh? Well, your Alakazam is nowhere near as cool as my Tut. My Tut is cooler than your Alakazam because he now knows Shadow Ball. Uh, the next gym, I believe, is, um, you're gonna reflect. That raises your defense, doesn't matter, we're hitting you on the special side. Um, I believe, or I believe the next gym is ground typing, which Braviary would have been so good for, but, uh, that's in the past. Our starter is now gone. He lasted three, almost four gyms. He just had to take a thunder, which was my bad. I really should never have sent him into that fight. I could have, knowing... Knowing that, like, after he died, Simipore died anyway. I should have just sent in Simipore, sacrificed him to heal up Darmanitan, and everything would have been beautiful. Why? Why can't I beat you? Oh, the gym leader's coming from the other way. Oh, you two are friends. That's nice. You're helping each other by gig, Pepe. I'm really going to learn how to read someday, guys. Okay, let's go. Okay, what's going on over here? Mr. Flamehead. How's it going, Dragon Ball Z fan? Oh, if it isn't Elisa. That's some cool new music. On festivals grand, life should be enjoyed. What a nice guy. Who is this man? This is Alder, the Unova region's champion. Champion? Why would the champion be goofing off in a place like this? Excuse me, you talking to me? I heard that remark. You're quite a judgmental young person, are you not? My name is Alder, and the Unova Pokemon League's champion. Pleased to make your acquaintance. For your information, I'm not goofing off. I'm on a voyage. I know every corner of Unova. Um, I'm Sharon from New Vema Town. Is that really the name of the starting town? I didn't know that. My goal is to become- my goal as a trainer is to become the champion. Hmm, traveling with a goal in mind is a commendable thing. And what do you plan to do after becoming champion? Question mark. What else is there other than driving to become stronger? The strongest trainer, that's the champion. Hmm, becoming stronger. Becoming stronger, you say. Is that alone enough of a goal? Hmm. It's not that I think you... That's not that I'm trying to say your way of thinking is wrong. In my travels, I have helped many people learn to love Pokemon, and I think that's important too. If you play it with those children, you might gain more of an understanding. Will you have ba a battle with those two? Here, you two, come here for a moment. Hey! Understood, but before that, thank you for healing my Pokemon. Okay, let's battle. Alright, we're gonna just destroy some children, I guess. That's what Alder... That's what gets him going, so uh, we are going to fight Preschooler Sarah and Blank. The other man does not get a name, just kidding, it's Preschooler Billy. You got a Lunatone and a Soul Rock. Lunatone and Soul Rock. I'm a little scared for Star... No, for Tut's survival here. Um, so we are going to Shadow Ball. That Soul Rock should still be part Psychic. You're gonna use close combat. That's good. That might even no. It's not gonna take him out. It's it's, it's neutral, but it did definitely enough that our shadow ball. But we're kind of slow. We're, but these guys are slow too. They're floating rocks. Okay, you go first. Ancient power is gonna hit Star Raptor. You can take out his Pokemon if you want to. I was thinking like not in one hit. Poor uh, poor enemy guy we're going against. He just lost the lock. And you're gonna use cosmic power. What's that do? Heal you? No, it's going to raise your defense and your special defense, you might live this Shadow Ball now. You may live this Shadow Ball. 
You don't live this shadow ball, which is everything I wanted and more. Tut is gonna go to level 41, 107 HP. Bootyful, Sharon's gonna send in his Simipore, which we just destroyed. It's a good thing he has like a million potions that he can just like pop, 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 very quickly. Simipore is gonna use Skull. That'll probably take out the Lunatone if I had to guess. It does. And we're gonna call this battle done. Preschooler Sarah and Preschooler Billy. <laughs> We we did it. Here's, why would you take money from the kids? You could at least be like, hey, this was for a lesson. Nicely done. You didn't win, but that was a good battle. Your Pokemon looked like they were having fun. What are preschoolers doing with level 30s? Young man, if there are people like you who pursue strength, there are also people who are just happy being with Pokemon. There are many different people and many different answers. When it comes to what a champion should be, you and I may hold differing views, but so be it. Give it some thought. Let's roll the Drift Bell Bridge. Veil Bridge is just ahead. The champion is the strongest of the strong. There's all there is to it. All right, Sharon, you can think whatever you want. I'm going to go heal very quickly. Do we need to heal? We just healed our Pokemon. We actually don't need to heal. Um, but I don't think I'm going to be able to... Hopefully, like, all of our Alder encounters are over the course of, like, the next couple uh, episodes because... I don't think I'm going to be able to keep that voice up once I'm, I'm a little under the weather right now. I've been getting progressively more sick as the Snivy learns Leaf Blade. Now he's a mummy. OK, we got away safely. We're going to need to bring out someone a little bit faster. Um, let's put out Pandemonia first because I love the shininess when he is sent into battle. Also, another thing that that grinding montage taught me everywhere we go, we should just have our item finder going as a as a, what, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know the word I'm looking for here. We get a nose pass, we get the shininess. We will go ahead and hammer his arm. Hammer arm will probably take you out in one hit. You are a sturdy, sturdy man, and that's gonna lower our speed, and that's gonna rock slide. And that's gonna rock slide. We live, that's a critical hit, of course it is. We're going to leave this battle, and we're gonna send in Bic. Already Pandemonia is yeah, you're gonna thunder wave, aren't you? You're gonna thunder wave, aren't you? Well, I'm feeling moody, and I'm gonna raise my accuracy, but lower my defense. Ooh, Bic, like, got really hurt by a rock slide earlier, and now his defense is lower, but that was from a Gigalith. <sighs> the paralysis. I can't really complain too much about paralysis, because if we would have gotten even one time during our gym battle where that where full paralysis would have occurred, we got paralyzed so many times, and the lower speed, don't get me wrong, hurt us real bad. Another thing I just recalled, we need to get out of here and not fight any of these guys yet. We'll come back and fight them maybe during a grinding montage sometime. We desperately, I just realized, didn't buy potions. Uh, and we used like all of them in that gym battle, so hold on. When will you start selling full stores? I need them so bad. We're going to buy 20 potions, and that should be good. We got a lot of money to spend. I'm waiting for him to, her to, to have full stores, and I will spend all of my money on full stores and Ultra Balls whenever the time comes that we can finally get those. Uh, speaking of Ultra Balls, we are actually going to be getting another encounter right quick but first let's let's continue along this path i was continuing up here because although we do have to go through double battle grass who of our pokemon has the lovely smoke ball so i don't have to deal was it did i give it the jaws i think give the jaws we'll send jaws out first just so if we get an annoying battle i don't have to deal with it let us take this item it's gonna be the fluffy tail i don't even know what a fluffy tail is i mean clearly it is what it sounds like but what does it do Use it to flee from anyone. Okay, so it's just a, it's a pokey doll. Let's see. No, let's not see the double battles. Don't get in any of those battles. Here we go. This way. Now to contact him. Hello. We don't have cell phones apparently, so I have to call through this. Are you using a cell phone? It's me, Elisa. Please lower the drawbridge. I have a couple of trainers who want to challenge you. Okay, thanks. Cool. Now watch this. That bridge doesn't even look slightly phallic. Not even a little bit. Bridge is gonna go. Do they just keep the bridge up at all times? I feel like that's like a little like, I don't know. Also, like when we go across the bridge, I'm pretty sure there's a guy standing on the bridge. Is he just permanently glued to the bridge so that whenever it goes, I have a TV gig, so I've got to go. The gym leader of the next town may take some getting used to. Do your best, both of you. I'll do my best, both of me. What I am is a trainer. I'm prove. 
Why can't I read? I prove I'm right by getting stronger and winning in battle, even against the champion. It'd be funny if he just like challenged me to another battle because he's got issues. Okay, we are going to mount this bridge. Okay, this is Sky Arrow Bridge. Just kidding, this is Drift Vale Dwab With. Sometimes above the bridge, you can see the shadow of a bird Pokemon, right? The feathers drift to the ground here. I thought I saw one for a second, like right here. There's one right there. So these are either going to be items or battles. If it's a battle, it's a genius wing. We're going to walk across the bridge. Do we have any Pokemon that can inflict a status effect? Tut can inflict a burn. So I think that is our best option. Actually, we should use Underbite who can lick and get a paralysis because then we don't have to worry about like if we can't seem to capture it. I hear it. Okay, it's up here. We are going to get an encounter on this bridge. We get a clever wing. We're going to get, I don't care if it takes 55 wings. We get a health wing. We're going to run to these. By the time we get a, a thousand different wings, one of these times, we will eventually get a Pokemon battle. We get a swift wing. All right. I believe these are the equivalent like they work like proteins, but less, less or so. I hear something. It is up here. It's kind of hard to see in the, in the grayer areas. Come on. Come on, we're ready for an encounter. We already have a full team and it's pretty stacked. But you can never have enough and apparently you can also never have enough different wings and pretty wings. I just want, I just, I just want to battle. I don't care how smart your wings are. Okay, we get the battle. Close my ears, eyes. That's something bad like a, it's a horsey. It's a Meowth, okay. It's not terrible. But it kind of is, um, but it's also unfortunate because we can't use Lick on it, so we do have to go into Tut here. Um, faint attack, how much? It's not super effective because we are part steel. I love that added steel typing. We're gonna Will-O-Wisp you. We know that King Tut is the most inaccurate Pharaoh that has ever ruled Egypt, so we actually landed it first time. The burn is gonna steadily take out his health. Uh, in the meantime, we'll just keep Willow Wisping. You're gonna pay day me. We're just gonna keep Willow Wisping to try to get his hand. That mean I can't use the same move in a row. Uh, Hex shouldn't affect you either because you are normal typing. Doesn't affect well Meowth. We'll do one more time. Why oh, can't I use Willow Wisp? Okay. Uh, we'll do one more time. Get him down below half. And here we go. Now we can go ahead and catch him. Uh, let's use a Cherish Ball because I would absolutely cherish the opportunity to catch this lovely little Meowth. If you could just stay in that Cherish Ball, we'd be rather appreciative. One, a two, a three, a ski -de 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 I think that's from SpongeBob, but I can't remember. Okay, Meowth's data was added to the Pokedex. It's been a long time since I watched um, freaking SpongeBob. Great show. Meowth is the Scratch Cat Pokemon. It is nocturnal in nature. If it spots something shiny, its eyes glitter brightly. We will name this Meowth. Uh, what do you name a Meowth? He is... Uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and name, I like, I really like the name Moneybags for, for my Meowth because first of all, he's got payday, so we're gonna get some coinage, uh, but second, it's just like, they're cats, they steal, they're, I named him Moneybag Singular. What's a money bag? It's a bag that holds money, obviously, but like, look at these people on this bridge, their shoes just, they got gum on them and they're just like stuck to the bridge. I do want to see, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure Meowth is going to be the only Pokemon we can actually get on this bridge. We can't get away from a Meowth. Granbull. Granbull, you disappoint me greatly. Uh, we're going to keep Jaws out. Uh, episode's coming to a close here, so I should address the good old question of the day as we're struggling to talk to this guy. Question of the day uh, had me thinking about it. I'm going to do some exploring around Driftball City while I talk about it. Uh, but had me thinking about it because... Um, had me thinking about it because we were lucky enough to get... Hold on. <sighs> so you're the trainers that Lisa was talking about, huh? I'm Clay and the gym leader around these parts. Don't be expect no welcome now, because when we lowered that bridge, the team plasma guys we caught done escaped all in the ruckus. What a bother. We're grateful that you lowered the bridge, but how is it our fault that they escaped? Good point. You could say whatever you want, but what's important is y'all showed up and then Team Plasma escaped. Maybe it's a little heavy-handed, but you ought to start looking for Team Plasma, too. You're both talented trainers, aren't you? We are. Tell you what, if you find Team Plasma, I'll let you challenge my gym. Life's all about give and take. It is. You're right. Okay. 
Um, it had me thinking about it because we were so lucky to get two fossils while we were grinding, while we were doing whatever. Um, what is your favorite of the fossil Pokemon? Each generation usually adds at least two, sometimes three. Uh, but wait, what? What is this? A special move? What's a battle combo move? I don't know. Uh, oh, it has to be a starter, I guess. Um, yeah, I would say my favorite of the um, of the fossil Pokemon. It is a. It is definitely a tough. It's a tough pick. Aerodactyl. Probably number one. I've always loved Aerodactyl ever since the freaking Pokemon original anime episode when he like gets in that battle with Charizard and they wake and carries Ash away. What are you doing? What do you want to trade? What do you want to trade? You want to trade a Snover for a Whalmer? I don't own one. Um, let's find this Pokemon Center and heal up real fast. I don't think we really need to heal up that bad. Aerodactyl's probably number one. Kabutops is a darn close second just because of just because of the design and also he's pretty powerful But like definitely the design of Kabutops. I think is gorge um, Trying to think of some of the newer ones not a huge fan of shield on Rampardos has his day. I Would like to see a Pokemon move called cut my artillery can cut. What are you gonna give me a heart scale? I think we can use those somewhere else um Let's see, let's go each generation. Did second generation have fossil Pokemon? It didn't, did it? None that I can think of. I don't think it added fossil Pokemon. Um, you have Anorith and Lyleep, who I honestly, mostly just forget about Armaldo, Lyleep, whatever you wanna. We can get an encounter in Driftvale City. We're gonna save that for next time. But um, fourth gen, fourth gen you have Rampardos. Shield on Rampardos is the only one I'd give any credit to. Shield on, not so much. Fifth gen this generation. Archaeops actually do like a lot. Uh, and Tortuga is just kind of just kind of cute. What do you want on Route 6? The old guy on Route 6 is searching for legendary Pokemon. If you're interested, go talk to him. Wow, this is a this is a packed house in here. Packed house in here. I don't know what they're talking about. Are you guys all talking about it looks like is this like a Is this like a cult or like a therapy group or I don't I'm not really sure. Anyway, um, we made it to Driftvale City. We did a little bit of exploring around. We haven't found too much. We've been in here. We got the little market. I can't get in the market. I'm pretty sure we can get in the market and there are hidden items in the market. Somebody dropped their berries. This guy, one of these guys wants to do the triple battle and I really don't feel like doing the triple battle right now. I'm pretty sure it's that dude riding around. I don't feel like doing a triple battle right now. Where is this hidden item? Right here. A shock drive. We are getting a Genesect, even though I banned legendaries. We are going to get a Genesect in this playthrough. Hello. Show me a level 30 Pokemon. Okay. We get an expert belt. Do you have anything else for me? That's it. That's it. Do you have anything else? You guys got, you got medicine? Yeah, well, I, don't, I don't buy medicine. It hurts my Pokemon's feelings. You have Moomoo's. Moomoo's are pretty good. Okay, anyway. We're going to end this one here. Next time we will get our Driftvale City encounter. We will get our Cold Storage encounter. We might even get our Route 6 encounter if we're really feeling up to it. I think we probably will. Look, Yeg, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. <coughs> Before I lose my voice, I'm going to go and end this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe to become a citizen of Playcrastination today. Join that flock of Braviaries, even though Braviary is dead, but we still keep the flock flying. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next time. I gotta stop procrastinating now.